Medical Disclaimers iTeraCare Classic and iTeraCare Pro are not medical devices. The information provided on our website is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. Please consult a medical professional or healthcare provider if you are seeking medical advice, diagnoses, or treatment. Priif International shall not be liable for risks or issues associated with using or acting upon the information on our website. Priif International shall not be liable or responsible for the actions, misrepresentations, or negligence of our members who are independent contractors. I've known her for several years now, and she is what I consider an expert in the frequency space. She's a retired nurse and now a holistic uh, health coach as a nurse coach to the wellness uh, space for people who seek her out as a health coach. And she's none other than our very own one-star leader from California, Miss Kathy Swan. And she's going to come on and do the basic blowing protocols for you so that you understand when you are demonstrating the amazing iTeric Care one that you know exactly uh, where to blow and kind of what to expect from it. So Miss Kathy Swan, are you still on with us today? I am, Sheila. Thanks for that lovely introduction. Welcome. So hey, everyone, I'm going to share my screen here. And I'm going to try to do this fast because everybody has been sitting here for so long. And thank you for waiting with us till the end here. Uh, I just want everyone, though, for a quick second to just kind of like shake your arms. Come on, you guys, let's shake your arms. Let's move our energy. Let's all take a big, deep breath in. Really deep and then exhale it through every cell of your body. Let's energize this form so that we can hear and kind of shake up all the other knowledge that you just received and put it in the back for later and open yourselves up to learning how to do the wanding protocol. Oh, look at your dog, Sheila, how cute. <laughs> Mine keeps knocking at the door to come in and he doesn't be like, why are you in there so long? <laughs> so I'm gonna share my screen and I do that, let's see, share screen. I just, I'm gonna talk about a few things and then I, kind of heard, can you guys see it yet? No, let me see, I think I have to share, share, there we go. There, can you see this picture yes. here? Yes. Okay, what you guys just did by doing this little protocol and I can't see the chat and stuff like that. So Sheila, Eric, if there's questions, can you just let me know as it goes? And if there's anything that you want me to know, just pop in. <laughs> So I'm showing you this because we are electric beings. If you've heard from everybody's presentations, what this device does, it is, it, it's an energizing, all these devices, whether you're using your, your um, you're getting extra ions, you're getting more oxygen, it's helping to increase the energy in our body. And what happens is that a normal person walks around looking like this person on the left, just through natural, evolving through this third dimension, you pick up all sorts of you know, emotional trauma, uh, physical trauma, and uh, you know toxins in our food, toxins in our air, uh, thoughts, thoughts, words, deeds, and actions. You know, we are a physical, mental, emotional, and we have an electromagnetic, which I will call a spiritual body, okay? And that that's what this device helps to energize so that the body can heal. So when you, whenever we're doing any type of healing, whether you're taking, you know, positive thoughts or you're using the iTeric care, you are energizing the body and your electromagnetism becomes more secure, more you're, you're stronger. We call this our aura. Okay. And the reason why I'm just showing you to start with, because I'm going to go over what the different settings do. And then also what the three types of um, energy that are coming through these wands and how they affect our body so that you know where to wand, how to wand and what it looks like. Now I'm gonna put, this, Eric, I think I, I'm not sure if he was able to find a link. I couldn't find a, a link up, oh. <laughs> see? I have an alarm that comes off that um, reminds me that we're all more than enough. <laughs> positive thoughts constantly coming in. So positive thoughts can go out. So I had to turn off my alarm. Okay, and what that does when I see that it energizes my body. So my, my electromagnetism can be stronger and more vibrant and then the healing can occur. 
And one of the problems with us is from a very early age, we don't learn how to heal. We don't take the time to heal. And so because we have this energized body and it's layered, different parts of it become, can become diseased. So when we finally take the time to heal and pay attention to this, your electromagnetism can become strong and then the body will heal itself, okay? And that's what this is all about. So you got that picture. I'm gonna now show you the wand, okay? The wanding guide. And there's this new one that's out right now. They kind of adjust the times of wanding for the stronger devices, okay? And if Eric, I, this link is comes from my um, notes page, so I couldn't get a hyperlink. So if Eric, I don't know if you're able to get that, if you could put it into the link, it's also on the website and downloads right here. And he's put that link out already. You can find everything that anybody's talked about on this website. And uh, it's a great, if you just want to know where to find everything, come here and take a look, okay? And then the other one I want to go over is the original wanding guide. And this is more for the classic. So if you have the classic guide, this is the one to follow, the classic model. And if you have any of the other ones, this is to follow. It's got the lower times on it. And um, they both are important to know, okay? So oh. I want, any questions? Did anyone say something? Kathy, do you want me to um, show that? The, uh, Just the put the thing. link, put the link so oh, that they no. can, they, oh, they want to open up. They want to open up and follow along they can, or they just want to oh. save it. I no, printed I can open it up for you. I can share that. Can you see it on my screen? Uh, well, no. Oh, because I'm sharing my screen and it should be there. Let me see what oh, you're saying. Uh, scroll you down. Maybe I'm not. It's too big. It's too big. Yeah, we're hmm. seeing a bigger version of it, Kathy. Now, probably you want to do the uh, minus sign. The minus sign. I'm at 28% now. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not showing. Let me see. Oh, you want to stop share, then reshare. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. That's All okay. Right. I got to find where the stop shine sharing is now. Yes, I, could, I could show the blowing guide. Yeah. Okay. You can show. All right. Let me, let me do that right now. And I saw in the chat that... Um, is it Erwin or er Erwin? Uh, my number, um, I'm not sure what amp it, but if she put the number one, if she will send me her address too, I will send her the book as well. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. the one huh. Thank you, Sheila. You're welcome. So uh, that is the original guide. Okay. And well, darn, I, I want, okay, I'm going to go over this quickly then. If Eric, if you could go down to the part where it tells you how to wand the steps, okay? This one? Um, actually, if you could go up one, 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 one slide up. Okay, good. Oh. So this, that one, yeah. You guys, you will see this everywhere in all the different guides, okay? And you can blow, you can wand for one to two minutes, okay? And you're gonna get effective results. I'm gonna teach you how to do the whole body. We are a symmetrical being. And as you can see in that pic, those pictures that I showed you with the electromagnetic body, you could see that it wasn't symmetrical. If you want to heal holistically and you have any, you're aging, you have any symptoms of pain or discomfort, you're gonna to wanna to take this seriously. I call it, I used to work in critical care and then I worked in hospice. And now I'm a nurse coach where I, in, I teach people how to, to heal. Uh, and using natural methods and also understanding how their body heals. And it's really important to, when you're working on this, to realize what you're really doing. When you, you saw that picture, you are energizing your body. And if you just energize one part, it can help over here. If you have clogged lymph, if you're working on your arm and you have a clogged lymph node, it's not gonna be as effective as, as you can if you go through this whole system, whole system systematically, okay? So I always recommend to do the basic first, okay? And depending on the wand that you're using, the, it's basically you go over all these points and the first row here, you guys gonna have to kind of look at that. That first row is so important, okay? That's gonna open up your chakras and your meridians. That's gonna be the electromagnetic field, okay? 
the next, and if that, and once that gets pumped up, now the, now the lymph and all the major organs and your muscles are going to start feeling the energy. And again, the, this next middle row is your lymph system. All those dots where you're going to wand, okay, are going to open up the channels of the clawed lymph nodes. And if anybody has like saggy arms, you'll see the difference in your arms immediately. If you have any edema, you're going to see once those lymph nodes open and can then pass you know, fluid through your body, because what lymph does is it clears the impur impurities out of the blood, and then it brings it to the kidney so that it can be excreted. If that's not working, your electromagnetism tends to decrease in those areas, and then you have a symptom called dis-ease. Something hurts, something isn't getting enough blood flow, and you may have pain, discomfort, that sort of thing. If you get the lymph going, which should be your major priority, these three sections should be your major priority when you're using this device, okay? And then the next is the major channels, okay? So you're getting, you're opening up your, 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 your chakras and your meridians, then you're clearing out the lymph nodes by focusing on each of those pot points, and then the major channel, which is connected to all your organs. So you're getting every aspect, you're getting the, you know, I would say the, if you want to call it, it's called the biofield for scientists, and it's called the spirit for people who are spiritual, okay? It's called different things for different people. And then the lymph, which is so important because that's the, that's the, that's the garbage collecting um, instrument of your body. And once that's working great, it's able to remove these, these toxins that are not being excreted in the body. The liver can work better. Your pancreas can work better. Your everything works better. Okay. And then when you're working on the major channel, you're opening up the meridians to those organs and they're getting energized and they're able to receive and give information in a clearer way because there's no blockages. So that's what this does. It clears blockages to, to health. Okay. Um, if you go down a little bit further, this is another picture. And then it has words here that tells you exactly how to wand. Everybody on this call, nobody should not know how to wand. Okay. Because it's written here in simple, like few steps. And the, this picture is the same picture as the picture above only they're showing that you're wanding the whole body. So it's got the same points and it's, and then you're gonna want up and down the body as well. So I have, so what you're gonna basically do is turn on your device, okay? And you'll see the blue light come on and then you're gonna point one to two minutes. I love that the, that the purple one, the premium, the other premium has a timer on it. I had to, I sat here with a timer and did it until I could just feel what a minute was or two minutes was at the beginning. So that's great that it has it. And most of the protocols are done within 30 minutes, especially if you're using the premium, okay? Um, and so basically you do the, the major, the top of the head, the, um, the palms of your, your hands, the bottom of your feet, the back of your legs. That opens up the, well, the major, your aura, and then the um, then you're gonna do the lymph node spots again, a couple of minutes on each of those spots, um, under the arm, you know, back of the knees. You know, it's all written down there. You just print it out and follow it. I actually have it right here. <laughs> um, okay. And then the last one is you do the main vessels. So copy this out, look at it, memorize it. This is what you're doing. And you're in that first picture that I showed you, you're gonna go from left to write and your concentration needs to be on, I am an amazing electrified being and you wanna radiate out the energy and that helps pump up your field. And you wanna walk around like that. You wanna walk around energized, okay? You're gonna find that you sleep better at night. You're gonna need less sleep. Pain will be relieved. Things will just shift. Everything's gonna work better. <laughs> so Eric, can you go down one more slide? Oop, I mean, go. Uh, let's go up one more slide to the instructions, okay? One this more? one? This one, yeah. So these are the steps to wanding, and they're so important to take a look at, you guys. Um, I'm just going to read them through quickly, and then I'm going to explain the difference in the power of what you need to think about when you're wanding. And then if there's any questions, I'll take questions, okay? Let me get it so I can read it. So the first one is to, to blow by yourself. I'm gonna cover some of the important aspects because you can feel the control of the, of the heat and, you, and it's just, you have more control over it, okay? And if it's hurting too much, 
it's just the recommendation. Again, I do clients all the time, but I do it a lot and I know how long to do it. If you stay too long, it can get hot. If you'll notice when you're wanding sometimes as you wander over an area, it can feel cold, like the heat hasn't penetrated yet. That's because there's an area of dampness. I'm not getting energized. As you wand on it, the temperature will heat up. So you wanna keep moving. The, you wanna to get to where it feels hot, then you wanna move it. Cause as soon as you start feeling it, it's gonna, it's, it will be, it will, you'll feel the heat but it will take a while to energize that spot. Again, maybe the lymph nodes were closed and you had decreased innervation. And that might be an area where you wouldn't see energy flow in your aura, okay? And as you energize it and it equalizes, you will that now feel the flow. It will return and you'll have an improved condition, okay? So that's why it's best to do it by yourself if you can, again, and just be conscious of that if you're a therapist using it on other people. You want to draw, draw, blow if you can directly on the skin. So without clothing is the best, although it is okay to blow through, through your clothing. If you want to come in from being outside and you've been around a lot of people and you want to do a sterilization, you can just do a quick uh, blow on your whole body and then go change your clothes or just come into the house and that's fine. But normally uh, it's better. It's always best to do it directly on the skin because there's no hindrance in the energy flow coming through the device into your skin, no block. You can see that there's a, there's a, there's a intermediary uh, barrier here. So it's always best to do directly on the skin. You wanna have faith in the terahertz wonder blower and you wanna believe that your body is able to get better. Okay, if you think you can't, you won't, energy follows intent. And if you think you can, you can, okay? And that is part of this new understanding of the body is all healing is self-healing. So, have that condition while you're wanding because it's going to affect your DNA and how well you can heal, okay? If there's, if you think you can't, your DNA won't shift and change. It's gonna stay the same, okay? So think you can. And then I love this one. You wanna take deep breaths and chanting, gone, gone, gone. You wanna have fun with this, you guys. You know, the, the more energized you are, the, the quicker it, the quicker you heal. And you wanna say things like sickness, gone, gone, gone. You know, healthy comes to me easily, okay? Energy follows intent. So enjoy the process of blowing and you must be patient. You want to give your body to heal and repair itself. Okay. The pain that you have accumul accumulated has come over years and you're slowly going to blow it away and you'll see a difference immediately. And as you can hear from our testimonials, you know, as a nurse, I used to go to conferences all the time and everybody was suffering. You go to a conference with Itericare, everybody has a testimonial and it's completely opposite. It's a wonderful experience <laughs> coming from a nursing profession where you had to take all sorts of medicines and chemotherapy and things like that. And people are just using the wand and getting the same results. So how fun is that in the privacy of your own home, wanding yourself and having fun while you do it. So when your blood cells are healthy, blood circulation improves, and it can now uh, effectively bring more oxygen and nutrients to your other cells at the same time, flushing away toxins and dead cells. When the meridian cells are healthy, the nerve system can, will be unblocked. The organs can then be nourished and come back to functioning normally and effectively, and a lot of pain will be eliminated. You must drink two cups of warm water. Now that's a must, but you, again, depending on your condition and who you are, you can muscle test to see how much you should be drinking, but it's encouraged to hydrate because you're going to be um, breaking up uh, toxins and breaking up uh, clots and stuff like that that aren't supposed to be in your body releasing bacteria that shouldn't be there, anything that's not supposed to be in there, it's gonna break it up. So you wanna make sure that your, flood, your, your kidneys are not gonna get overloaded and you're, you bring, you're having enough water to get rid of those toxins because you can have some side effects. I'm, I forgot, I'm gonna go over that as well. Make sure you, everybody has the healing symptom guide as well because there can be, as you're getting upgrades, there's gonna be shifts in your body and the condition can get worse before it gets better. And it's helpful if you know, oh, that's a healing symptom and you can get super excited about it, okay? The more excited, the quicker you heal. So again, every time you blow, you should blow on the three acupuncture points and then blow on the five lymphatic nodes and then blow on the two main meridians. And there's pictures above here. Together that, then blowing on the, the sick and sore ear, areas will be more effective. Could people ask that question all the time? Should I just blow on where it hurts? Well, what if your knee hurts and you have an implant? You don't have to blow on, you never have to blow on the site. Um, Eric, can you show the, the pictures where they have the ear and the hands. Um, again, we have, the body is amazing. The meridians connect to the hands, to the ear, to the iris. And um, you, can, you can treat every part of your body by just wanding on your hand, okay? 
or just wanding on the ear, just like acupuncturists or acupressurists will do. If you have a headache, you can press right here on your thumb, okay? You can hold your thumb or you can press right here and your headache will go away. Well, that's not my head. Why is that changing it? Because my head is right here on my palm. And when I press on that, it releases my headache. So you can do the same thing with wanding. You can wand there as well and have a headache go away, okay? So again, to be symmetrical, again, and if you have time, like it takes me about 15 minutes with the classic. It takes me about five minutes with my pro or even this to do all the basic points, okay? And then I will go on to something else that is bothering me, okay? So it just depends on what device you have, how long it will be, 15 minutes for an Itera care to do the basic and about um, seven minutes for these and about three to five minutes for the pro, which is my favorite because it's just so fast, okay? <laughs> okay, so hydrate within the blood so that you can then remove toxins. And then you got the points and it's best not to get, uh, if you get the whole, uh, the biggest part about the terahertz is the heat. Okay. And if you are wanding and then cool off um, faster than the healing process takes, then you just won't get as good a effect. So that's why they recommend you to be in a warm setting, a warm shower. If you're going to shower after, um, anything cold will just stop the processing and you worked all that time. So they really want you to get the biggest effect. Now the healing effect for the, uh, uh, for these, for the classic is about four hours. So you will be healing four hours after you do a session. So be cognizant of that. Treat yourself well, eat healthy foods. Be, I am like for four hours, just be excited that your body is healing. And again, it will heal faster. <laughs> you understand what's going on. The, the quicker you will get out of any discomfort that you might be experiencing. And uh, you can see people are, are healing gout. I mean, that is not something that as a nurse, I have ever seen anybody be able to heal. heal. You can take medication that will reduce the symptoms and those have huge side effects themselves. And I've never seen anything like this. So again, it's an amazing device. Take it very seriously. And it is very powerful. Um, <laughs> Their question. Okay. And then be sure to understand the contraindications and the precautions of the therapy therapy process before use. And I'm going to show you that sheet here in a minute because you want to know exactly what you're using. It's powerful and it can be potentially dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Again, people, if you blow too long on one point, you can get a burn um, and then you can have these side effects and then you can think, oh, this thing doesn't work. I'm getting worse. But if you understand that that's normal, then you won't have any questions about this. Okay. And again, these are suggestions for personal and uh, uh, personal opinions. Please use and make your own judgments. Again, muscle testing, if no one knows what that is, again, that part that we're charging, that biofield is super intelligent. And when you go in and ask a question, it actually will answer you. And muscle testing will, will it will, your body knows what's right more than the conscious mind does. Mm -hmm. So look up, if you don't know what muscle testing is, I encourage everybody to look at it because that's how I get my answers. I don't look out here, I go in and then I hear what I'm supposed to do and then I move forward, okay? So I just wanted to read it. This is all inside these manuals, you guys, and it's fantastic. So take the time to copy these, look at them and then share with the people that are using this. Now, the last thing, and in fact, I think I'll just copy this and I'll put it in the in the chat so everyone can see it. These are called the Itera Care device um, healing responses. Okay, I'm gonna copy this, hold on. And see if I can put it in there so you guys can look at it yourself. This is also available on that Eric, uh, on Eric's site. Mm, too long. So let me just do it a little bit at a time. Hold on one sec. This is one through 10. So you guys can start to take a look at that while I do the rest of them. Kathy, we're still seeing Eric's um, reflexology chart. It's in the chat, darling, thank you. I put it in the chat. Can you see it there? No, that one's too long too. So 
So I'll read this as I'm copying some of these. Some of the things that you will feel is you can feel burning, of course, because you're, um, there's uh, through 17. And then, and, the, and again, this whole form is available on um, Eric's website that he put together for all of us, you guys. And that's the rest of it. So you can copy and paste this if you want, or you can just look at the chat to go along with it with me. Okay. Um, again, you can feel burning, which means that there is evil fire in the body that's actually, that needs to be removed. So it can be hot or cold. And um, there can be a, fe a feeling of freezing, and it means your body is very cold. And that can be because there's a, a decreased blood flow to that area, it causes disease. You can feel itchy. And that means that your body is severely windy or hot blooded. Okay. And that's going to be activated as you wand this, okay? And it's going to change the flow so that it goes into homeostasis and, and into your original blueprint so that healing can occur, okay? It can feel, you can feel, you guys can read through this. I'm gonna kind of go through it quick because I wanna answer questions and I wanna get to this one part and you've been here so long. So I wanna make sure you can know at least where to go to find these things, okay? Um, you can feel numbness. I had, when I first worked on it, I had, I had peripheral vascular disease and my legs became numb. You guys, and I, they looked so different as the blood flow came back. And, I, and for a couple of days, I was like, you guys, I felt like I was walking on pegs. The whole thing reversed. And I have, I used to be a runner and I, I just got very ill and I had a near death experience. So I had zero voltage in my body and I had to get that back to, you know, normal. And so I know what it's like to be in a diseased state and, um, and very ill. Um, and so once that turned around, I mean, I'm running again now and I don't have peripheral vascular disease or I shouldn't, no disease. I don't have decreased blood flow. Sorry. You didn't hear that. <laughs> and, um, it's now innervated. My, my veins look like they did when I was young running all the time. So you'll see the changes. That's why gout will improve. That's why if you have toenail fungus in your toes, it will improve because you're getting blood flow and all that bad junk is coming out and all the good stuff is going in. <laughs> So you can have rheumatic pain, okay? It means you had poor circulation and that's resolving now. Uh, you can have pain or hurts. You can get blisters. You can get acne as the toxins come out of the skin because they now have a flow to get out of there and they're not just staying in places that they're not supposed to be. You can have no feeling at all. I had that, okay? And it changes. You can have sweating. You can get really, really hot as you detoxify. You can get red rashes. I have a lot of people calling me about that. I've got red rashes totally normal. You're not overdoing it. It's just the body's healing and you can urinate too much. People talk about that because you're finally getting perf perfusion to your kidneys. Okay. You can also have diarrhea. Same thing as this block has just changed. You can have constipation as another result. Again, if you're not hydrating enough, um, sore throats, fevers. Okay. It gives you a nice little, it's a East meets West explanation. So you understand what's happening and you go, oh my God, I'm healing this way. This is so cool. Oh, a rash means I'm healing. I'm removing toxins. It allows you to get more excited about it. Um, and then the, the original chronic disease will repeat and it's a normal phenomena of detoxification. Don't worry, okay? You, you can cut back a little bit on the wanding. And then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the, about the power and different, uh, the different um, buttons so you know what to use when these symptoms are coming up, okay? Um, and then in conclusion, it's fine to insist on blowing, although it may feel particularly uncomfortable. Drink plenty of, plenty of water. We had a physician that had um, a heart condition where the blood flow was reduced to 30% which is a very critical condition. People don't live long when their heart is only putting out 30% of blood flow. And he had blocked arteries and he, and he knew about this technology and he started using it. And he was um, like, uh, did not like doctors, even though he was a physician and did not like, you know, knew not, he, he's, he, he uses frequency medicine now. So he, want, he used this, the, the next time he went back to the doctor, it was um, 45%. The next time he went back, it was 75%. And it caused some pain as he was using it to, to remove the blockages. But he knew what it was doing and he stuck with it. And he never went back after 75%. He goes, I know I'm healthy. So what this can do is phenomenal. It takes a little bit of time and it takes some just a little bit of know-how that um, what can happen after you're wanding 
to and to know that it's really an improvement. Like I I would not say anyone should ever have to quit wanding um, if they know how to to decrease the energy and listen to their body and and move slowly. Okay, um, you can cut back wanding sometimes to every other day. Um, that's some of the things I've done. I've even taken time off for a little bit. I don't wand every day. I shake it up. I have um, other things that I'm adding, like exercise and stuff. So I don't have all the time to wand like I did before I could run. <laughs> so I share it. And those are just some things that I'm doing myself. Okay. Um, and then I just wanted to talk about the different numbers. Does anyone have a question about this? Is there anything that anybody wants me to address specifically? Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to go over the times of wanding. Okay. Um, hold on while I pull it up here. Yeah, for, so, sake of, for sake of time, Kathy, we won't take Q&A right now, but feel free to continue with your conclusion of your, of your presentation. Okay, sounds good. So um, on the wanding guide that was the, uh, that has the purple, uh, direct it's a it's called the latest wanding guide and it it again it tells you i'm just going to read some of the times to you so you really understand how slow it can be how, how little time you need so if you have something like to, just to stimulate the stem cells along the back okay you can blow up and down the spine for 15 to 20 minutes that is the same thing as that front and back channel okay when you're doing the basic so you see when you do the basic you're kind of getting this other aspect of it too. So it's over the large bones of the spine where the stem cells are released. So if you want to get younger or you have a condition that needs more healthy cells, you really want to concentrate on doing the um, going up and down the spine. And when you're wanding, you're going to go down and then you're going to move up slowly. you got it from that first picture I showed you, you're energizing your body. So you want to be very methodical when you're doing it and go, oh, look, I'm opening up all my organs, you know, I'm clearing my lymph as I'm doing my lymph. I'm energizing my whole system. And you will see, again, immediate results. Your body's going to respond that that part of you that's super conscious is intelligent. And it, it's going to listen to those positive words and it's going to change your genetics. So that is what's happening for you. If you're negative while you're doing it, the disease is going to stay there. <laughs> you want to move it and happiness and joy is what allows the you to to follow the heart's desire. And so that that can come back to you in your form. Okay. Now, um, and so if you're, if so, so here, and then again, you can blow on the ear, just blowing on the ear for two minutes is doing the same thing as wanding your whole body. So if you want to really, if you only have a few minutes to wand, wand on the ear. If you only have a few minutes, do the spine. If you, something that's going to make the whole body symmetrical, same thing, you can blow for a few minutes on your hands. Okay. Uh, those are all connected to the organs, the major organs and the major meridians and the lymph. So it's, and same thing with the feet. You can just wand for a little bit of time on the feet. That's like a whole body treatment. As long as you know that, then that's what's going to, that's where the energy is going to go. If you think you're just doing your foot or spot, then that's where the energy is going to go. It will go to other places too, but your mind, it's mind over matter. So what you think is going to be the effect of your treatments. Okay. I can't stress that enough. So gone, 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 disease, happiness, see a happy liver, see a happy kidney, see beautiful urine output, see a beautiful clear lymph system and expect miracles. Now, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the, the power of this thing. So you hear, you hear about the wattage, okay? So the, the classic is an 800 watt, the premium is a 650 and a 530 watt, and then the pro is a 1200 watt. That's what they call is the, 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 the wind it's called in, in, in Western medicine, it's in Eastern medicine, it's called the wind. Okay. That's the fan setting. So when it's on low and you have the paleophysic light, so the crystal tube in here uh, uh, puts out tons of minerals when that energy goes through here and it shakes up the, the, the noise, the noise is very important. <laughs> like who doesn't like the noise? Like, Put your hand up and then put it back down because the noise is the crystal piezoelectric effect that is coming through this tube that's going into your body. Without that noise, you wouldn't have that effect. So the noise is really important. They say to put on like Bach or something like that, and then you won't hear the noise. It'll 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 
symph 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 symphonically disappear into the noise of the symphony. So this noise is actually healing. So I, I have to emphasize that because I hear so much of it's too noisy. You really want to love the noise because it's making a huge effect on you. So the, the fan can be low, medium, or high, or not at all. It's a zero, uh, uh, well, it's a zero um, setting for a heat, I'm sorry. So the wind can be medium, low, or high. And you can see in the classic, it's the first setting is uh, low speed, that's the wind, and then low heat, okay? And then it has a high wind or motor energy and a low heat. And then it has a high energy fan and then a high heat. And they're all used for a little bit of difference. I'm just gonna explain the differences right now and then I'll tell you how to use it, okay? So the premium, same thing. It has a low speed, low heat, although it's still kind of a high heat. I would say it's a low speed. I would say it's a medium speed on, on this, medium speed, medium heat. And then it's a high speed, high heat on the premium, okay? What's really cool is the purple one, which I don't have yet, has, the, has an extra speed in there. And so that has, so it's more medium and medium, which is, excellent. And then you can go to a lower setting too, which is why that came out because people wanted that lower, that lower heat setting and they gave it to us. So what a beautiful device. Then the pro it has, it's, you're able to adjust from no heat all the way up to high heat. And you can, and that this one is excellent because you can just change it. And it's got a little picture on, on your, it's got a picture of the a thermometer and then it has a picture of a fan. And so you know which one you're adjusting based by looking at that. And, and you wanna do it based on how it feels. If it's too hot, you wanna lower it. You don't wanna do high heat over inflammation, but you do so. And so that's the difference between the wind and the heat. Okay, now I'm gonna explain how they work. Okay, so the, um, the, the mild, the strong, I'm gonna go to the strong heat first, okay, with the mild fan. Okay, that is gonna amplify, well, let me go into the different, the different types of things that it has. So you have, this device has three energies that you're receiving, okay? The first one is scalar waves. Now that is basically source energy. That picture that I showed you at the beginning, that energy that's coming out of your body is source energy. And scalar waves, they have found scientifically, are the only things that really affect that that part of your body, the soul body, okay? And, it, and um, it has a six inch penetration. So this is different than the terahertz. It's not as deep as the terahertz. It's six inches, it goes into the body and it's source chi energy. So it's like the best thing you could ever have, you know? And it's 35% of the healing potential of these devices. So that's the scalar wave, six inches deep, and it's a high frequency sound. So there's the sound, okay? And it harmonizes the subtle bodies, the emotional body, the mental body, the physical body. Those colors that you see of the rainbow are each represented by the different parts that animate us, okay? And um, so it's important to know what you're doing when you're using that part of the scalar energy. It's like, oh, I'm using scalar energies. You can even focus on it. I'm amplifying with scalar energies going six inches into my body, amplifying that part of my um, my body. And I, and I'm so excited that it's getting healthy and it's being inner invigorated. There we go. <laughs> okay. And, and, uh, it opens that inner body space. Scalar waves like the only thing that, that I know that does that at the point besides just meditation and imagining it. So, so after that, you have the, um, this also is good for the extra when you're, when you're using it down, up and down your spine, you want to be saying, I'm, I'm getting my chi flow on. I'm getting my chi flow, source energy, chi flow. That's why they have you um, go in reverse flow. That's the source energy coming down into your body. When you are going uh, counterclockwise, you're getting source energy up from the physical form, the earth and the physical form. And those two meet and create an electromagnetic field that is very healthy. So when you allow the source energy to come in and meet with the earth energies, which we're all imbibed with here, you get a stronger electromagnetic field. That's to due to the, uh, the scalar energy. Now the terahertz, that's the one we mostly talk about because it's unusual to have a device in our hands that does this. There's lots of other scalar waves out there that we can use. The terahertz is 45% of this healing, of this device. When you're using it, half of it is the terahertz, okay? 
And this is where they say it's 12 inches deep. It goes into the body. And this is the part that de de detoxifies the cells and improves, improves blood circulation. And it's safe, non-ionizing radiation. You know, that's that part, okay? Very, very important. That 7.8 frequency of the earth. And then the third thing that we've heard people talk about is that crystal, the crystal inside here, it's called piezoelectric meridian chi energy, okay? It's the same thing that comes out of your pineal gland and your imagination when you're thinking, okay? This part of the, of the crystal is the healing effect, 20% of the healing effect. So, um, and, that, and this only has one inch penetration. So when you're using that, okay, you need to just be aware of it. So piezoelectric effect is from hot air. So it's the hot air. So if you're going to get effect from this, the hotter, the better. And, it, and the more powerful, the more it's going to go into your body. And that's why you need less time with the, the larger motored devices, okay? Um, or powerful and heat. Same thing with the heat. More heat, more power, less time wanding. Um, and the crystals are ultra high density and they're saturated with 100 min uh, minerals. So the heat is really, really important for healing. And so is the sound, okay? Um, and so that explains the type of healing that's occurring while you're using this and what you want to use it on your body. I'll explain that kind of quickly here, okay? So when you're using um, strong heat, like let's just say the you're using the classic, you're going to use it on the, you have the, the, you have a strong wind, strong fan, okay? And you have, um, I'm going to start, I'm going to go strong heat, okay, mild fan. That's the first setting on the classic. Now that's going to amplify because you're using the high heat, it's going to amplify your crystal piezoelectric effect by 15%. So more heat is going to increase that part of the, the effectiveness of this wand, okay? Um, it's best over the, if they call it the yang organs, so over the liver, the gallbladder, the heart, the small intestines, the spleen up and down the spine. So it's high heat, low wind. The teeth, the jaw, arthritic points where there's pain, okay? And um, cancer tumors or other in, in the yang organ. So in those organs, that's best to use strong heat, okay? And the first setting on the classic, or again, you're gonna adjust these other ones according to what you're learning here, okay? Now, when you wanna use um, weak, weak heat and mild wind or even high wind, depending on if, what device you're using, because that's what I use a lot. If I have any inflammation, I'll put it on lower heat, but higher wind, okay? And that's for things like, think about it, you guys, my brain, my upper head and ears, things that are more fragile, my eyes, okay? I'll put it on lower, weak heat. And if there's any parts of your body that's inflamed, if you've got nerve pain, if you have you know, inflammation, you want to use less heat because it's just going to cause, it's just going to aggravate. It's going to cause more heat and that's going to aggravate it. And it's going to cause it. You just want to pull back and adjust it so that you don't have any of these side effects. Okay. Um, and then the crown of the head, the third eye, anything around the head is, is weak heat. Okay. And high fan, medium or high, low, medium, high, it's your choice. <laughs> and then the third that I teach is heat, hot, hottest heat, Okay, and the strongest wind, that's the third setting and the classic. It's the highest on any of the other devices, okay? And this amplifies the, the piezoelectric uh, effect by 30%. So someone was asking, you know, if I don't use as much as it is effective. Well, yes and no, it's effective for what you're aiming at, but it doesn't have all three effects the way when you change the heat and the motor, okay? Which is fine. Sometimes it just, you have to go slow and slow is better. And over time, you'll be able to increase it and you'll see, you'll feel better, you're, you're amplified, you're more energized, you don't need as much sleep, you're happy, okay? Um, when you want to use the hottest, um, that's over other, the, the yin organs, the ones that are deeper in your body, the kidney, the bladder, the lungs, the large intestines, stomach, you can just look up yin organs, okay? And, um, and then the arms and legs. So when I'm just doing the basic, I usually have it on high heat and high wind. Uh, and I, cause I'm going fast. You don't want to you know, stay in a long place, two minutes, moving slowly, going up the body. I hit all the points. Okay. And then I do the whole body. And then if I have like a symptom that I'm gout or something that I'm changing, I will go to the site or I will go to the protocol that will tell me exactly where to go on the upper neck. Um, get the protocols, you guys, it tells you 
10 minutes here, three minutes here, 35 minutes here. Okay. And you can break it up throughout the day as much as you want. And um, let me see, I'm finishing with a strong heat and also the strong wind. Uh, again, same thing here. You want to uh, any, you want, uh, uh, again, I'm sorry, <laughs> trying to do it fast. Your arms, fingers, hands, and feet. And then any areas that feel cold or hollow. So if you just feel like it's not innervated, and that would be in the area where you just have these open spots in your aura. <laughs> and once you innervate it and get blood flowing and, and oxygen going again, you'll see the aura will close and expand. And that's how you can have like thought forms coming in and you'll hear other, you get other people's energy and stuff like that. So you really want a strong aura. You want to be invigorated and you want to be as, as, as um, happy as you can be, because that's what allows a happy aura. <laughs> Um, it's also, you can do, use that on the, the channels, okay, up and down, and then over female cysts, tumors, and cancers over yin organs. So cancer is really, it's really good to use over cancer, but you want to use different heats depending on where the location of things like that are, are occurring, okay? Um, I think that's really what I wanted to really explain to you. Uh, so you understand the settings, the power that you're using in the heat, and then how to wand. And hopefully everybody gets a copy of the protocols and you can go and look at your specific symptoms. Again, start with the basic that it's different on different, how many points you're wanting on, but basically, you know, it's the acupuncture points that are the meridian, the lymph nodes, and then the main vessels, which go to the organs. So low, medium, and high and be positive and expect miracles. That's what I wanted to cover today. <laughs> Back to you, Sheila.